Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is square root of square root of 25 minus square root of 24. So it will be equal to square root of this square root of 25 is 5, then minus square root of 24 is same as square root of this 24, 24 is 4 times 6. Then in the next step, it will be equal to square root of 5, then minus, from here, we can split square root of 4 times square root of 6. Now square root of 4, it is 2, then times this square root of 6. Then in the next step, it will be equal to, now from here, 5 is same as 3 plus 2, and this 6 is same as 3 times 2. So it will be square root of 5 is 3 plus 2. Then minus 2 square root of 6 is same as square root of 3 times 2. Then in the next step, it will be equal to, from here, if we split this square root of 3 times 2, is same as square root of 3 times square root of 2. So into here, it will be square root. For this 3, to have common square root of 3, 3 is same as square root of 3, then bracket square. Then plus 2 is same as square root of 2, then bracket square. Then minus 2, then times square root of 3, times square root of 2. So here times square root of 3, times square root of 2. Then in the next step, now this expression here under this square root, this expression is in the form of a square plus b square minus 2ab, which is equal to a minus b bracket square. Whereas when you compare a square with square root of 3 square, then a is equal to square root of 3. And when you compare b square with square root of 2 square, then b is equal to square root of 2. Now, because this expression is under square root, so this our formula will place all of them under square root and this under square root. Then we will apply this form here. So it will be equal to square root of a minus b. It will be square root of 3 minus square root of 2. So square root of 3 minus square root of 2. Then bracket square. Then in the next step, this square root will cancel this square. So this value here under, under this, this bracket it should be um, between absolute. So it is equal to absolute square root of 3 minus square root of 2. Absolute. That means this value it should be positive value. Then it will be equal to, because square root of 3 minus square root of 2, it is a positive value. So it is this, which is square root of 3 minus square root of 2. So this is a simple form of this our problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.